Hello everyone. In this video, we will see difference between XML and HTML. What it mean by XML? XML mean extensible markup language, and HTML means hypertext markup language. Both are the markup language. First difference is XML used to store and transport data html used to display data xml the first one difference it stores and transport the data it not presenting the data it just using as a carrier and html main aim to display data second difference is xml uses user defined tags means here is a no restrictions in xml you can use the any name as a tag means suppose you are writing the program for the student you can write the student's name as a tag but in case of html we are using only predefined tag means the heading tag paragraph tag bold italics and other tags next difference is in XML, it contains structural data. Means when you are writing the information of the student, here you are uh, you need to structureize the data. Means first you need to declare the root, then child, then subchild. You need to maintain the hierarchy here. In HTML, it doesn't contain any structural data. As per the rules, we are writing the program in HTML. XML distinguish uppercase and lowercase letter means suppose one tag you used as a student in a small letter, you need to maintain the case at the end also. If you are writing the student as capital at the end, it will consider it as a next element. So you need to write the start tag and end tag in the same sequence, same letters. In case of HTML, there is no matter if you are writing the head tag in a capital or in a small or the starting of the tag in a, a small and ending of the tag in a capital because it is a case in sensitive when you are writing the tags and data in HTML. In XML, it maintains spacing tabs, new lines and any other white space formatting because here we are maintaining the structured data. When you are writing the root, you need to do the index or you need to do the tabs for sub-elements. Again the tabs for the uh, yeah, nested elements or when you are using the new line or white space, it will maintain that space. But in case of HTML, if you are giving the more white spaces, then there is doesn't matter. It doesn't maintain the white space in case of a HTML. Next difference is in XML, it needs to have an end tag. Compulsory, you need to choose the end tag for each and every element. But in case of a HTML, it doesn't need an end tag. We are specifying the end tag. But it is not compulsory in case of HTML. In XML, it needs structure or nesting. If you are giving the root, you are giving the subchild, then you need to choose the nesting of that subchild to the parent. But in case of HTML, there is no matter you are writing in a uh, nesting way or you are writing on the same index. This is the difference between the XML and HTML. Both are the good. We are using both in a web development, XML and HTML. Thank you.